right. Blessings to the Lord God Almighty. Blessings to the Lord. All right, we're here today. We're talking about pride. All right, yes, pride. And not, this is going to be a little different because it's about hidden pride. Well, obviously, in our culture, we think of pride as a certain standard of this and a certain standard of that. And this is pride, this is being humble. And, and we kind of have that line like, okay, but the thing I've learned is what people have standards of what pride is, is not what God's standard of pride is. And so this is kind of like, some, the Lord was kind of breaking this down to me about my personal pride that I had in myself. All right? <laughs> And so, what I had done, and I felt the Lord was leading me to do this um, through someone speaking, was to create a business card. Now, the um, pastor had not said anything about the business card or anything like that. God was just happened to be dealing with me during this uh, sermon, and it's like, he starts dealing with one point after another point, and then the pastor starts dealing with that point after that point, and starts hitting this. It's like, okay, Lord, this is confirmation. I need to make a business card. Got it. <clears throat> and it was something I was kind of feeling like the Lord wanted me to do. So, <clears throat> long story short, I was going to go to this one Christian group out in Kansas City, and I felt like, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to bring my business cards. And some people already kind of know me already, so I kind of didn't really feel like it was necessary, you know. Um, but then the Lord's like, no, I, I kind of want you to. He's like, Lord, okay, yes. Okay, and so I'm like, <clears throat> he starts giving me the one passage of Esther about how Vashti didn't want to be shown off. She just wanted to stay hidden with her own clique, her own people, where she was. She was satisfied where she was. And the Lord started revealing to me, that was Vashti's pride. She didn't want to be shown off. That was pride. And the Lord was like, you know, if you have a, kind of like if you have a girlfriend, you know, you want to show them off or a wife or whatever, you know. I'm like, yeah, I kind of get that. So you kind of like wanted me to use the business card and a roundabout way for you to show me off. I'm like, okay, Lord. <laughs> I'm like, cool. And that was just that. And it's kind of like God wanted to show me off, but in my prize, like, no, I felt like I was unworthy and all that stuff in a sense. But God was saying, like, no, you're just, that's pride you're dealing with. And I kind of learned that a lot of Christians sometimes will look at you if you have a business card, and especially if it says a uh, profit on there or whatever, you know. <laughs> and so they automatically think you're being prideful. You have this business card and you're promoting yourself as this profit. And yeah. And because of the culture we are in, a lot of times there are people out there that make a business card and they're being prideful with that business card, okay? But then you got to learn to discern, is that person being prideful or is it something the Lord actually instructed them to do? And for me, it is something the Lord instructed me to do was to make a business card, all right? So, the thing is that I've learned that sometimes God wants to show us off. And in our pride, we can be like Vashti. And it's like, God's like, okay, you don't want to be shown off. You just want to stay in your little clique, in your little area, and not want to be seen and be humble and think you're being humble that's a thing it's like oh i'm not worthy uh blah 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 
I don't need to be in the spotlight, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, you're being prideful. Now, granted, we're used to the person that automatically wants to be in the spotlight. Shh, look at me, blah, blah, blah. And automatically, we're assuming they want to be, they're prideful. When sometimes God just wants to show that person off. So the one thing I, I've started to learn is a lot of people don't have a discernment of when someone's being prideful and when someone's not. Now I've come across someone that would kind of claim to be humble in that sense. And I remember kind of like warning him in that sense, you know, like, hey, uh, I, I see through this dream, I kind of see like, there's some pride that's hidden underneath the table kind of deal. And it's like, uh, yeah, you might want to be careful of that pride. <laughs> and so sometimes it can kind of keep, even you have the people and, you know, the Christians, and maybe they're able to heal people and stuff of that nature. Oh, this, it, this is a very touchy subject because, like, the Pharisees. Let me just put it into that sense. Now, the Pharisees in the Bible, it's a great example of them having the outward appearance of being humble. Now, granted, you don't have that in our culture of people like, oh, look at me, I'm fasting, because it's in the Bible, so they know not to do that, okay? So they're going to work it around some other way to make itself make themselves look humble. All right? Because they know if like they're prouncing around that they're humble in the sense of fasting, well, everybody knows in the Bible it's like, oh, well, they're just being prideful now, okay? <laughs> and so the greatest trick of pride is actually when you make yourself look humble that's the kicker when you can make yourself look so humble and yet you can actually be so full of pride that it's not even funny and yet everybody will look around you and say oh well if he isn't he or she so humble uh, i remember one day the Lord kind of spoke to me about something about being prideful in an area. I kind of mentioned it to my friends and like, you, you're, you're being prideful. You're kind of like this humble person. I'm like, you know what? We all kind of deal with pride. And something that uh, someone was speaking to me about was confidence and a, a new level of confidence to the point where other people will start thinking that what you're doing is prideful. And I'm thinking now, looking back on it with the whole business card, I'm being confident that God's told me, you know, here, use the business card. I want to show you off in this fashion. I'm like, I'm looking back at it now. I'm thinking, it's like, yeah, you know what? I'm having the confidence in God's told me to do that. And I'm sure sure there are people out there that think me passing out a business card is being prideful. But in reality, what is it? I'm being confident in what the Lord has told me to do. And think about it this way with Esther. She came boldly before the throne, or before um, Xer, yeah, yeah, the king, you know. Whereas Vashti didn't want to approach the king at all. Even though she was called... Oh, and this is reminding me of a dream now. I remember this one dream where this demon that had been kicked out of heaven, I had talked to him, he wanted back into heaven, and he's like waiting outside, you know, waiting for the Lord to call his name. And he was like, in his pride, 
He was not willing to go to the throne of God. He was willing, he was waiting to be called upon. And here's the kicker with Esther is in she humbled herself by coming to the throne of God. Whereas the demon in my dream, he was waiting for God to call him, which God was never going to call him, obviously. But in his pride, he's like, oh, I'm just going to wait here and wait for God to call my name. And I think that in a lot of ways, we have a Christian mentality out there that I'm just going to sit right here and wait for God to call my name. I'm not even going to call on God. I'm going to wait for God to call me. Isn't that pride? Yeah. And uh, there's so much on this topic, I think, that the pride of wanting to be hide, of hiddenness. And so you have this culture that looks at a certain standard of what pride is and calls that pride, but they're looking through fleshly mindsets. And now we got to learn as Christian believers to open up our understanding of what true pride is. And I was trying to film this the other day and in so doing I was asking the Lord, okay Lord, what is some pride in me right now? And I'll tell you what that pride was. And the Lord told me my pride right now is thinking I don't have to run. Alright? And the Lord's kind of been speaking to me about running. And, you know, being, being in shape and all that stuff, you know? And that was my pride, thinking I don't have to run. And that could be used metaphorically speaking also as in a lot of Christians don't think they have to run the race, all right? <laughs> but that is a pride in itself, thinking you don't have to do something because you're okay. Or something of that nature. That that can be pride. And so, so often I think we have a misunderstanding of what pride can be. That uh, a lot of times we just got to say, Lord, forgive me of my pride because I don't know what my pride is because I'm blinded by it. And that's going to be the truth. I'm praying. Sometimes we got to pray, Lord, forgive me of my pride because I don't know what my pride is because I'm blinded by my own pride. And Lord, you're going to have to reveal that pride to me. And it may require you, just like I had to do, to make a business card to show, your, to show other people. And that may be how God decided to show you off. And that, that was kind of a pride for me because I was kind of like, you know, I, I don't really want to be seen. Uh -uh. I, I, I'm, re I'm fine just being by myself tucked away in this little corner niche of like Kokomo here and I know like when I first got here I almost became more of a hermit in my house and the Lord had to break me of that and so I think in a lot of ways the Lord just wanted me to step out more as in a public sense and the Lord's kind of spoken on some things pertaining to that too on, on my life. But I think a lot of times we just got to have a better understanding of what pride is and what pride really is in our life. Because let's face it, if your pride is trying to be as humble as possible, that's your pride. Your pride is being as humble as possible. That can be a pride, it can it? Wow. So, anyways, go to the Lord on these matters, because let's face it, I'm only one person, and the Lord knows exactly what you your pride is, and how best to deal with you and help you and love on you. In Jesus' name, and God bless. Shalom to everyone out there. Bye.